Okay. Um, let's take away the concept that there's any negative or positive, okay? And let's say that in this reality that we're in, we may even play the bad guy sometimes to help somebody get something, okay? So if somebody's in, the, in a life and they're trying to learn by having the experience, the concept of loving self, taking care of self, um, and be, that person, me, and me as an individual being more important or just as important as somebody else, and they don't believe that for whatever reason, then they may find themselves in a negative situation, like you could say that's an abusive relationship, and that would force that person, in that, that negative situation of the abuser, would force that person to begin to love themselves. So then, do you blame the abuser that they have to be treated horribly? Maybe they chose to do that. Maybe that person chose that experience. I'm taking this just, I'm taking what we talked about earlier to more of a, a higher level. You see what I'm trying to say? Okay, there? so you, you're saying that ultimately, there, ultimately. Is, there is really no negative. No. Everything's about growth. We're all about growth and expansion. Even the government being so limited and, and trying to control us, it's making us have to stand up and be responsible for ourselves. So it has to be like that. Yeah, it's full circle. So there's no negatives and there's no real victims. No, not at all. Once you start waking up, the first part of the game, yeah, it looks like victims. And you're learning something at that level. Once you kind of get here and you show up at places like this, you're on the way out of the game. At least the game that they're playing here. You may go to a better game or a better, you know, let me put it this way. We may be getting out of third grade but we're just going in the fourth grade. So, so if you look at the third graders and go, oh, you're just stupid, you don't get it. <laughs> you know, seriously, if you judge anybody anywhere for anything, you do not get it, period. Okay, so to sum it up, there's no negativity, there's no negatives, there's no victims, and there's no judgment. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the high level. <laughs> which we're on the way to. In the, in the beginning of our lives, it was a different story. You know, The out there was doing it to us. But then once you start realizing your consciousness is controlling the feng shui of not only your house, but your entire life, then who's responsible? Yeah. We are as individuals. That person out there is not responsible. They may be helping us push us into responsibility. Does that make sense? That abuser may be pushing yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that person who is abusing well, the person who is being abused may need that extreme situation mm -hmm. to make her move faster through it. They right. like it because the lessons to be learned or the development or the expansion to be expanded into, you know, could have come in a many different ways. But this person chose that one because, you know, for whatever reason, maybe you know, I just think it, it, the worst. The worse the scenario, the more faster you want to get the hell out of there. Exactly. So, you know, that to me means speed. Let's move on to the next level. This one's not so cool. Yeah, I, I heard one time, um, somebody gave me some tapes. Um, they were in the AA program. And this guy named Chuck C., which was like amazingly metaphysical talker. He's passed away now. You know, he talked, he had a very wet brain. But he was extremely intelligent. And um, he said that, you know, he's he, these are always re um, recordings of him talking to alcoholics. He said, alcoholism is a gift in that if you don't get it, you die. Seriously. Wow. And, 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 okay. If you don't get it, you die? If you don't get you why don't, you're doing that, why you're in that situation, get it. you die. get it in the sense you of die. I you're, understand. Yeah, I'm I going with what Donna was saying. That situation, that situation pushes you to get it or die in the process. Oh, okay. on, our, on our lives, we're kind of, <laughs> you know, I can sit here and stay in the negative situation till the day I die because I'm not forced to get out of it. Certain circumstances we come into, like Donna said, to fast track you out of it. You're going to get it or you're going to die, period. In an abusive relationship, you're going to get it or you die. That speeds your growth up. It's not the most fun way to do it, but, <laughs> but it's, a, it's a way to fast track it. That's one of the things I always had. It. And when I first learned about affirmations, my first affirmation I ever made is, may I learn my lessons before I need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I never wanted to have to, ch have to choose the worst way to learn a lesson. But did, you know, did that work? work? Huh? Did that yeah, work? I think that my life has been a, a life of more wisdom and, and balance and, you know, yeah, I think so.
I mean, how how do I know for sure? But no, maybe. Yeah. Actually, actually, how, actually, how, actually how, taking it to an interesting level. How quickly can you yes, though? I like, because I'm interested to know how quick you can pick up on all of this before you reach that negative extreme situation at what because so many people have to have that negative situation before it turns on a light bulb and said okay I can't deal with this anymore I need to make a change or something right. like that but that's a choice that's a decision they right make. but I, you know, at what point not. can you like what is it that's different about you that is taking it to allowing you to have the willpower or the strength to say I want to deal with this before I get to the negative situation mm -hmm. you know and maybe even all of us that's why we're here like we have this curiosity of knowing okay I don't want to get that far I right. want to make sure that I'm healthy and taking care of myself <coughs> now before it gets there but everybody you know but no one is the same way though isn't like yeah. that yeah and for my for my answer to that because I've questioned that very thing is I believe that after you've done certain levels you move into another level and the next level is once you've played the game of the first part of the game, which is it's all out there, it's all the other problem, you begin to be, once you start looking inside that you're the problem, that's when all this starts fast tracking because you're not looking out there being the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm you're no longer looking at the world causing my physical pain. Marsha's no longer looking at being a victim from having the polio. She's looking at inside herself what caused this. And when you start asking what caused this, you start looking, trying to fast track that. Because I think that's just the secondary step. But everybody has to come to that on their own. And every one of us, all, we, we, I think all of us have our own blocks in our current life that we're trying to work through. And those are our blind sides. And we may be like, let's fast track this, but over here we suck. <laughs> you know? and, and, and that's our own Achilles heel. Okay, Marcia. But, but if, if we try, if done. we make the effort yeah. to That's avoid like, oh, it oh, by, I don't know, jumping yeah. over it or no, whatever, uh -huh. don't yeah. we really push the issue deeper if we try no, to skip over yeah. this? It's, it's going to come out of the We try to skip it, right. like first skip first a grade. Yeah, you can't skip a grade. You can't skip at all, okay? Um, <clears throat> And there's, I mean, uh, there's a concept of uh, the whole, okay, the 9-11, okay, um, I don't, I'm going to throw a little conspiracy in here, probably not, try not get too far off track, but <clears throat> let's say there's a, you know, the, the 11th number is the master number, right? Okay. 9-11, from one perspective, was a group of beings trying to jump a grade, trying to jump from ninth grade to 11th grade, to be masters of themselves, okay? But you can't ever skip a grade. It always backfires in some way. So you may be aware of an you issue and you're trying to dance around it. Hmm? You're talking about the people who died in 9-11? No, no, no. What are you I'm talking, talking about the whole thing that played out around 9-11. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, not the people that passed away in it, um, even though they probably paid some weird cosmic part in that. Um, but again, I can't look at that in a negative, effect, negative way because some guy got growth out of that. Even if it was one person, yeah, even what, what happened with Hitler. Yeah, what, even what happened, what happened with Hitler. That whole nasty thing that had to play out was, again, like a physical manifestation of something that you could no longer avoid seeing. The whole world had to see that type of racism. And if you were honest, all of us have a little bit of that in this, right? Oh, absolutely. How, if you were back in that time period, if you were born in that culture, who, could you honestly say that you may not have actually joined in that? How, do you, how can you know for sure? It brought that to the surface, the cosmic collective consciousness to clear that, to cut a huge part of that out. So we don't have to keep repeating that. So if you're aware enough, if you can catch, there's lots of lessons that play on the big field that you don't have to repeat. Well, if you're aware of those, you're like, okay, I'll take that. I'm not going to do that. We're still there as far as blacks and whites in the United States. I mean, look at the progression of, of where blacks are now compared to where they used to be in the United States, yeah. but yet still deep in your soul. Ask yourself those questions. Well, and it's a progression. I mean, um, even what's going on in other countries. I, I saw something recently about um, it was uh, I think it was Indian men wearing skirts for the uh, the the physical abuse of Indian women. Um, so people are starting to change. Thank God that that's happening. It's like you know, consciousness grows. Thank God, <laughs> and we're in that. We're in that. We're in that. That expanded way. You can be on the you can be on the edge of the wave, or you can be way behind it. 
or you could be being run over by it. So uh, I prefer to kind of be like you said. I want to be on the wave. You know, maybe I'm not in. You know, maybe not at the exact point I want to be, but I'm working on on catching myself. But ultimately, I'm looking at myself. Period. If something happens in my life, everybody that shows up to me that I work on, I'm going. Okay, what is this showing me about me? Seriously, because that's exactly what it's about. Y'all, y'all here. Um, I made a big change in my own personal life, and the reason I pushed that more for me is because I was seeing it reflected in the group more. And I realized that if I did not do it myself, I was holding the group back. So I had to take that and do that to help that energy to move forward, whether it was taken or not. <clears throat> but it did move it in some way. So there's things always happening that we may not be completely aware of that we, we, have, we can choose to dance with or we can choose to try to dance around. But you're never going to get around it. You eventually have to go through it, which is my big realization once I had this big shift is I was trying to keep people from hurting because of what I experienced in childhood and what I've seen people go through. And then I realized I can't take away people's pain. I'm not supposed to take away people's pain. I can help them through it. And the best way to help you through your pain is like, here's the core of the issue. This shoulder pain is related to this. You get rid of that, then you're getting through the, to the real issue. This is something a lot more than this. Okay? And if you can get to that, then your life can start to change. But it's up to her to keep working with that. So she can take this and just not play with it anymore, or she could take it and start working on it, maybe working this point, working on tap. She knows about the tapping. She could keep tapping on these issues of that and keep going deeper. But that's her job. I'm not, I'm not responsible for her soul. I'm only responsible for my soul. And when you show up here 100%, I can help you then, um, and then and only then. The percentage that you show up here is only the level I can help you. And that's the only level I can help myself. And I don't show up 100% all the time. <laughs> I know. I know because I know myself. You know? There's times I show up, I can, you know, I'm doing something, I'm like, no, I could do it all the way. But I feel like trying to skip around it today. I don't really get around it, but I avoid it. When you try to go around it, all you're doing is avoiding it. It's all you're doing. You're just pushing it off to another day. And you can push it off, push off all you want to. But I guarantee you, whether it's this life, the next life, the in-between life, you're going to fucking have to address it. So you got to do it sometime. You got to rip the bandaid off. Get rid of it now. Yeah. yeah. When you were talking about the stream, you know the what was the words you were just using? Stream. It made me think of the mainstream. The main you were talking about.